What is going down, YouTube Town? It's your homeboy, Captain Retro, and uh, I'm here with an update video on some projects that I've been working on, things for you to watch. But first, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe, and I want you to comment down below when you see something cool in this video that you like. And if you don't, give it a thumbs down and tell me why you gave it a thumbs down. Have some balls. Be a man. Welcome to YouTube. When you want to go. This dirty pinball machine is coming back to life slowly. It is a 1987 Bally Midway hard body, and it is all about working out and getting your muscles and being ripped and having good lady looking legs. And look at that lady right there with her bicep curls going on, and that big fella up there on the play field. Now, as you can tell, the play field is discolored and, and two different colors we got the old un mylard colored section here and then the mylard section which has kept its original color now i have removed the mylar you know what we'll show you some of that cut we are working on this hard body and uh i haven't even shown you all this machine it's it's pretty cool it's a weightlifting type of game it's ridiculous but uh there was mylar right here or factory mylar and it came off perfectly and so is this one right now this is frozen right now it's you freeze it. You, you take some uh, some compressed air. Well, I think you tried to do a couple of things. I think some compressed air and uh, turn it upside down. And <laughs> freeze it up. Pull your sticker up. Gently. Don't go crazy. But uh, just show you how this works. And look how nice and clean it is up under there. Now, unfortunately, that's you know the real the play field is that color, but the the. The stuff that wasn't protected under plastic is this dark color. So we'll do my best to get it cleaned up and, and close to matching, but it's it's going to be hard to get all that yellowing out of there. And in fact, we're taking this whole machine apart. This this machine has a needs a lot of work. We won't even get into it right now, but there's a lot to do, and it's going to look great when I get done. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So uh, we got the mylar off, and we've gone through and cleaned up all the plastics and gotten them as, as good as looking as we can they were they're pretty yellowed but it's not terrible you know it's it's not 100 percent disgusting uh we're going to eventually pull the entire cabinet apart i hate this old bally midway logo nonsense crappy art on the side so it's gonna go all the way and uh find a new home because we've ordered new side art for it it is on the way and uh I'll show that to you when it comes in here. But we've got some things going on. We've we've rebuilt the motherboard. We've got a brand new uh, power supply in there and the original soundboard. The, the old power supply, I rebuilt that as well. And as far as I could tell, it was working too. But I went ahead and ordered a new one just to make sure. And uh, right now, it's, it's doing its thing, but it's also not really wanting to do its thing too much. So it'll, it'll boot up to the game, and it'll load up, and it'll reset the drop targets, and I've gone through and LED'd it, at least, at least the, the GI and some of the flashers on top. Uh, this beeping nonsense that it's doing right now is probably trying to tell me that there are switches that are misadjusted and things that are having problems, but the displays aren't working. So we've got a new set of displays on the way, too. I mean, I, I've rebuilt the, the, the high-voltage section on the board, the, and on the brand new power supply board, it still isn't making them run, so I'm not sure what's going on with the actual displays. It might be an issue on the motherboard. Uh, I, when I get the brand new displays in, if they don't work, then we'll know where we gotta go and we gotta get that board working because it's something in that board if that's the case. Uh, this bottom row actually is, I believe, where, and this side over here is, is uh, scoreboard stuff. So anyway, it looks pretty great. Again, not all the lights are, are plugged in. We're, we're missing some lights in the bottom. They're not all LEDs. The original incandescents are basically up under the play field for the most part, uh, with the exception of like that one. And we, you really can't even tell that's an LED and that's an incandescent. And uh, they're almost the same color. Uh, someone did their own ramp mod here. This is a Diet Coke can that someone built into the top of this ramp. These ramps actually lift up and the ball can go travel all the way up under and around and make a loop uh, or they're down and the ball goes upstairs to the, the top two areas over here is where you get your extra ball. 
you knock your drop targets down one, two, three, and then you would collect the extra ball against that target in the corner. Those targets are drop targets. That's the only drop target. Six drop targets, a bunch of little extra targets, you know, upstairs slippers, downstairs slippers. The game actually plays a lot like BMX, which is one of my favorite sports pinball machines of all time. Uh, and if you haven't seen that, then uh, right up here, click, uh, will be a little link so you can see that game. Uh, it's got some water damage to the body, but we're going to be able to fix all that, I believe. Uh, and uh, I would like to get the game up and playing before I completely take it apart. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're still working on doing that and making that happen. I've got new side rails on the way. New legs are on the way. It's going to look dope when it gets done. Uh, and if you want to see the back glass, that's what the back glass looks like. Look at that sexiness. That is Rachel McLish. And uh, she was a female bodybuilder and probably still is. And she's probably in her 50s or 60s by now. But I bet she looks great still. Uh, a little bit mannish, you know, a little bit overly cut. But uh, don't you guys worry about that. We got a new back glass in the way too. Ha ha ha. All right, we got the monitor board rebuilt here. Sorry, a little crazy. Uh, recapped, new flyback new uh hot we're about to plug it all back up and get it going but you know you're asking yourself what captain retro what do you what are you doing bro what what do you got here oh well this is something i haven't showed anybody actually i mean i think you've seen it in the background of stuff floating around here in the garage but picked this up the other day a tekken tag tournament inside of a capcom big blue uh, i do have to put a new i got a new power supply coming for it too now the, this one was probably okay but i just like to get new power supplies and stuff when i bring them in anyway so there's a new one of those inside i gotta swap it out uh it might be a little bit involved with the unscrewing process but uh we got the board back in and hopefully uh when i plug everything back up and give it the juice it all comes back to life we'll see Unfortunately, that did not solve the problem. Uh, the, the monitor did turn on and I got a little bit of a picture going and some scrolling bars and some stuff on it and then immediately the fuse popped again. So I'm, I, maybe I gotta mess with the B plus, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got a buddy that does monitor work for me so we're gonna take that to his shop and I'll film a little video of him and his little workstation. I told him I was gonna come bug him and do that anyway pretty soon. So. Might as well. I uh, gotta get that fixed. I've got a Galaga out in the garage that I need to get fixed. There's a lot of stuff going on here at Captain Retro's uh, house and uh, on the Captain Retro channel and show, and I just forget to film stuff. I'm sorry I don't upload nearly as much as, as other people do. Uh, I'm just busy doing real things in the real world, and I constantly forget to turn my phone on and use it as a camera. I apologize, but this is some cool stuff that I've got and we're going to get this hard body up and going and we're going to get the tech and tag tournament up and going and we'll be doing videos on those and live streams on probably both of those too. Why not? Why, who, who says I shouldn't? Who says I couldn't? Who says I won't? Who says I don't? I say I will. Thank you guys so much for watching the stupid nonsense I make. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment below, join the team, get on the captain's crew and be part of the the journey be part of the fun be stuff with things captain, captain, Metro, captain, Metro. captain.